Welcome folks to our lesson 3 but still on particulate nature of matter. I've done introduction, I've done lesson 2, this is lesson 3. The heading is matter is made up of particle. Particulate particles make up matter. The second lesson we did, the first lesson we did experiment to demonstrate that fact. The second lesson we have seen the nature of these particles in liquid form. Remember we said matter exists in three states. So we have demonstrated in solid, we have demonstrated in liquids, you remember? Yes. Lesson 2. To demonstrate Brownian motion in liquids. Okay? In liquids. We did that. Sprinkling the chalk dust. We saw the chalk dust in continuous and again in no particular direction movement which we call Brownian motion, the randomness and the continuity of that motion demonstrated by particles of water. What did we use? Chalk dust to study the particles of water. We are going to use smoke to study the nature of particles of air. Air. So we will have covered the three states. So what is your focus in this lesson? Brownian motion in air. In a nutshell, air is made up of particles which are in continuous and random motion. In a nutshell. But we have to prove. So what are we using to help us study the particles of air? Smoke. What do we require? We require a few things here and there. One, we require a drinking straw. soda. Drinking straw. What else? A smoke cell. You know, smoke cell. Cell in a small compartment. You know, at the police, there are also cells. A cell is a small compartment that we can take many things inside there. You know, you have thieves, you have murderers, you have rapists, you have what, you have what, you have what, you have what, in a very small room. So that small compartment is what we call a cell. So don't imagine, Miss Elia, police. No, a small compartment. It is very small compartment is a cell. Now this one is not police cell, it's a smoke cell, okay? To, to contain smoke inside there. Police cell will contain people, right? The bottom line is it is small. It is small. We need that. We need microscope, a very strong one. We need a lens and we need a source of light source of light because when you are using microscope you need good light right so how do we go about it you will read in the book i'm giving you an over overall view overall view so you need a straw then light it on one end and then smoke will come smoke will come out and fill the compartment. After that you do what? Cover with a transparent material. Cover with a transparent material. So you are going to cover this compartment. Eh? I've shown you. So this is the what we call smoke cell. This is the smoke cell. This is the drinking straw. That is the drinking straw. 
So you can see, you light it one side and then the smoke comes. The smoke should be rested. It should be rested in the cell. It should be contained there. And then you cover. So after you have covered, now you bring that cell under the microscope for further observation. Okay? So the microscope has down here a focusing lens. This focusing lens. This is focusing lens of microscope. You know there are two lenses here. So this is focusing. Focusing lens of microscope. This. What does it do? To help you focus on what is the subject of the study. The subject of the study here is movement of air particles. Or what makes up air. Air is made up of particles. We are trying to prove that. To help us, we are using smoke. So we must focus on smoke. Smoke has to tell us something. Okay? Now, we need a lens. Why do we need a lens? It has also to focus light. Light. So this lamp, the light comes. And then is focused here. Those are some questions you can get. So you see, the lamp is to help us or to enhance the intensity of light in the cell. Is to enhance intensity of light in our ability to see. So it enhances visibility. Visibility. There must be enough light in the cell so that it is easy for us to make observation. Get that right. But we don't want this lamp, the light, to be just all over. We want it channeled, focused. Okay? We want it to converge it in the cell. What does that? The lens. Just the lens. Just like the one we had. I don't know where I put it. We have a lens. Okay? It helps us. We have a lens. This is a lens. Huh? This is the lens. So that the light comes and this focuses. A lens. Right? That is what we have now. Microscope. What does it do? It will enlarge those particles so that we are our observation is easier, is made easier. It magnifies the particles of smoke. It magnifies the particles of smoke. 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 That is the lens. So everything now you know. The transparent lead is obvious. If you put there an opaque, you cannot see inside. Right. So, observation. What is being seen using microscope? What are you seeing now? When I'm using microscope, I see bright specks of light. You see things which are very shiny. Things, in quote. You see things that are very shiny inside there. So, this is my microscope. Eh? I'm seeing inside there. So I can see, ah, how nice, 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 very shiny things, moving, always moving. So that's why we, I use the word continuous. They are always moving, always moving, always moving. Then number two, not in a particular direction. So which is the right English? Randomly, 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 simple. So bright specks in continuous and random motion. Why bright specks? Reflections, they are the ones you will see. That brightness is the smoke. Brightness, you see, is a reflection by a smoke 
particle reflection this specs specs are bright are bright reflections reflections by smoke particles so we focus now we focus there that the specs what specs means reflection just like ukiona tembea kwa mbali utaona kuna mngaro sio jina la mtu mngaro <laughs> reflection something very far huwezi ona hata mabati eh huwezi ona kama yakiwa mapya dumu sasa huoni dumu sasa unaona a reflection at very far end you are seeing a reflection you are not even seeing mabati but we know it is mabati okay so some surfaces can reflect light smoke particles reflect light so we were seeing those bright things are reflection because of the light we had allowed to go in to facilitate our observation okay light went in so the particles are reflecting that light so smoke particles specks are bright reflections by smoke particles okay smoke particles are reflecting and those small particles of smoke particles are in continuous they don't stop continuous no stopping here there on and on and why there is no direction because it tells us something is hitting them and what is that something particles of air so we can see by small particles cause why why are we seeing that because the particles there must have been particles of air initiating this movement okay so here specks are bright reflection by smoke particles okay by smoke part, part, uh, particles smoke particles which were continuously and randomly being which were continuously randomly being bombarded by air particles okay this is a very good observation okay so what is the conclusion you can do there that air is made up of so you, you you have written this i will leave it for some time you read so conclusion is now conclusion we were studying what air so air is made up of small particles air is made up of small particles what is the nature of those particles they are in continuous and random motion continuous and random motion of particles is also known as brownian motion okay so smoke has helped us to study the nature of particles of air okay that is what we have done then in lesson 2 pollen grain or chalk dust when sprinkled on the surface of water help us to study the nature of particles that make up liquid okay think you have done enough matter is in three states solid 
liquid gas. We are studying what makes them up, what constitute them, the nature of particles in them. First is that matter is made is made up of particles. We used three. We used three examples using the paper. You just cut it in small pieces until you go on, go on and go on. And then we used uh, dilution. Dilution, we made a potassium permanganate solution. Tuliunda kwanza, that liquid, okay? So after making potassium permanganate solution, maybe a quarter with your container, a quarter with. So, a quarter. So, we kept on diluting. We kept on adding water, specific amount of water, into this solution of permanganate. Then that deep purple color kept on disappearing as we increased the amount of water. That is dilution, diluting. Okay? Weakening. We continued weakening that color from strong purple strong then it became and then okay then the third one we added a solid into a solvent remember we had salt in a flask salt once then you pour water using a pipette carefully carefully like a pilot eh? very careful and then you filled the flask. Think it. After some time, we saw a small drop in volume. Why? Why? Because the particles of water is made up of the water is made up of particles which have some small spaces in them okay water you know that it was more than salt so what we did the particles of salt got into those spaces so it's like the same water swallowed measure okay measure it is swallowed the salt that way so like it this is water particle and this is salt particle so water particle has some space so really you are seeing this you are not seeing the two okay that is how we started then we came as on to demonstration of brownian motion in liquids and now we have finished demonstration of brown and motion in air few questions you can get for sure you have to explain the role of lens the role of microscope the role of the lamp then you should be able to state and explain the nature of the observed motion nature how is that motion nature how is it you can also be asked what will be observed okay when the temperature of the surrounding is increased temperature temperature has to do with kinetic energy kinetic energy is a half mv squared so kinetic energy m is constant they're asking you what is v if kinetic energy increases, what about V? Folks, next, we subscribe, subscribe, so that you get a notification. And then if there is something you want, you must comment there. I would like this also to be learned. And then we shall program it slowly. Please don't expect immediately, because already there is a program. Bye-bye.